If you're looking for the best turntable, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Regap Planner 3 slash Elise 2. No turntable has dominated its category like the Planner 3, taking on all comers since its launch the 1970s. So if you want to step up in performance, we're only too happy to recommend the Regap Planner 3 with the factory-fitted Elise 2 cartridge you see here, although you can, of course, purchase the Planner 3 Sans cartridge. Thanks to a thorough revision and some key component upgrades, notably the tone arm and cartridge, this version keeps the legacy intact. The Planner 3 remains what it has always been, a simple, beautifully engineered deck that puts performance first. With an engaging sense of scale and good organizational skills, the Planner 3 ensures that every instrument is well separated and composed, no matter how complex the track. It exhibits a greater level of transparency than its talented predecessor, too. In short, this latest version is the best RP3 yet, adding extra servings of clarity, precision and insight to an already musical sound. If you're looking for the best value turntable on the market, this is it. Moving on to the next and number two with Project Primary E. The Primary E confidently nails the basics, from an even tonal balance to a delivery that's clear and clean and spacious enough to keep things coherent. Decent body and substance cling reliably to every frequency, and that's made all the more enjoyable by a spirited sense of drive and momentum. For purists, at the head of the beginner's vinyl revival path, who have a small budget and aren't fussed about features such as record ripping and automatic operation, the Project Primary E could be just the ticket. The Primary E has a familiar look, from the 22 cam tone arm and Ordoff and MM cartridge to the effortless setup of the near plug and play design. As you might expect from a similarly specified machine, the Primary E has an entertainingly musical performance akin to the Primary's, too. While our sonic expectations are rightfully tempered for a turntable at this price, the Primary E's priority seems to be entertainment. As a first turntable, it's impossible to beat near this price. The number three position is held by Regat Planner 1. In an era of change, not even Regat's best-selling record player is immune to the desire for fresh thinking. And with the new Regat Planner 1, change is unquestionably positive. Pretty much everything you see has undergone some form of modification, with the end result a clear step up from entry-level decks. It may be low on frills, but you get an accurate performance that delivers detailed, dynamic sound. The Regat Carbon cartridge is fitted as standard, and this is the first of Regat's entry-level turntables to house a low-noise 24-synchronous AC motor with an aluminium pulley. Sound is roomy-sounding, expressive, full-bodied. There are no obvious flaws here, but if you do get the urge to upgrade this deck's capability in the future, Regat provide a performance pack add-on. It includes Regat's Bias 2 moving magnet cartridge, upgrade drive belt, and 100% natural wool turntable mat. Next at number 4, we have Technics SL1500C. The rebirth of Technics has spawned another fantastic turntable. Compared with the high-end SL1000R found further down this list, the SL1500C is much more affordable, and it's also one of the best record players we've heard under a grant. It uses a core-less direct drive motor with clever speed management circuitry, and the company's trademark S-shaped arm. The arm is attached to an Ordoff and 2M Red, and the deck also comes with its own built-in phono stage. Everything is engineered with a pleasing sense of precision that matches the equally pleasing sound. Music is delivered with a brilliant sense of dynamism and energy, alongside an impressive amount of agile, yet weighty bass. While purists may prefer the slightly more insightful Regap Planner 3 slash Elise 2 above, the Technics SL1500C offers crisp presentation, a built-in phono stage, and electric speed control, making it a great choice for those not totally engrossed in vinyl. The number 5 position is held by Sony PSHX500. The headline news with this excellent Sony USB turntable is the drop in price. Two-thirds of the price it was when we gave it 5 stars upon release. It represents a real bargain. Need we go on? Okay, well on top of great sound. This Sony allows you to rip your vinyl and high-resolution audio quality. Note the high-res audio logo displayed proudly on the front edge. The process is simple enough. The PS HX500 hooks up to your laptop, 
or computer's USB input and via Sony's Mac and Windows friendly software and records the vinyl either as a WAV up to 24-bit slash 192KG or DSD 5.6 MHz file. Just remember to hit stop recording when the vinyl has finished playing. Of course, performance is king, and in that regard, we're happy to report that the PSHX500 is far from a compromise. Sound, whether ripping or playing vinyl off the deck, is detailed, articulate, and open. The design and finish is workmanlike, but if you want an appealing jack-of-all-trades from a trusted brand, it's a real winner. The number 6 position is dominated by Regap Planar 1 Plus. The Planar 1 Plus is essentially a Regap Planar 1 turntable, as seen above with the Regap Phono Mini Abwo D Phono Stage built-in. Both have won awards, and Regap thought it only felt natural to combine them together. We absolutely agree. But Regat hasn't simply taken the existing Phono Mini at well D as is and bolted it under the deck. It has been tweaked. The USB section has been taken out entirely, and the cost saving has gone into improving the audio quality of the Phono stage. The Planar One Plus uses the exact same platter bearing R Bone 110 tone arm, carbon MM cartridge, 24 synchronous AC motor, and acrylic plinth as the original model. The Planar One Plus sounds brilliant. It is rather lean sounding when played straight out of the box, but the sound comes into its own after a couple of days, becoming more full-bodied and rhythmically exciting the longer you play. Moving on to the next at number 7 with Project Jukebox E. The Project Jukebox E is based on Project's well-regarded primary turntable and is tricked out with an Ordoff and 015E cartridge, amplification, 25W per channel into 8 ohms, and Bluetooth receiver. At the back of the deck, You'll find stereo RC outputs at line level and preamp slash photo level, plus a stereo RC align level input. There are also left slash right speaker outputs, an aerial socket for the Bluetooth receiver, and an IR receiver for the rather basic, but functional, remote control that comes in the box. It's an all-in-one system that demands very few compromises, given its price. It's also an all-in-one system that we can't easily argue against in favor of separates. The Jukebox E delivers convenience and backs it up with award-winning sound that's warm and blessed with plenty of mid-range sparkle. The only real shortcoming is the bass, which isn't as solid as we'd like. Still, if space, not to mention your budget, is tight, we'd recommend seeking out the Jukebox E. The number 8 position is held by Project Debut Carbon Evo. Project has worked hard at making its latest debut a current class leader, but also one with the potential to morph into a steady mid-range competitor by offering a series of affordable add-ons. However, as you can see from the 5 stars, the basic deck is impressive enough as it is. Among the upgrades are improved motor mounting, new height-adjustable damped feet, and a heavy steel platter that weighs 1.7 and features a thermoplastic elastomer. TPE damping ring on the inside for quieter operation. Perhaps most welcome, though, is the addition of a rocker switch on the bottom of the deck, which allows you to adjust the rotation speed. No more removing the platter and manually readjusting the belt when you want to go from 33.33 thripum to 45. Despite the lack of branding, its identity as part of the project family is revealed immediately as the room is bathed in its rich, full-bodied tone, but it is also partnered with a great deal of detail and texture. Where competitors might beef up their sound in an attempt to disguise a lack of real insight, Project here welcomes you to explore its vast sonic range, proving its aptitude for making a deck that is both easy to listen to and prepared for deeper, more analytical sessions. Next at number 9 we have Sony PSLX310BT. If you're looking for fuss-free entry into the world of vinyl, this brilliant Sony turntable deserves an audition. Set up is a piece of cake. There's no need to fit and align a cartridge, set the tracking force, or set the anti-skate. So once you put the belt around the motor pulley, you're all set to spin. The presence of a built-in phono stage and Bluetooth connectivity are a welcome bonus too. There's a healthy dose of drive and attack to music, a Sony unearths a fine level of detail and peels back enough layers of emotion to keep the listener interested. You can pair the PSLX310BT with up to 8 Bluetooth devices in. In our test using headphones, the connection was strong enough to walk into another room. A fully manual deck like the Regap Planar 1 does sound even punchier and clearer. But what the Sony lacks in top quality sound, it more than makes up by being fun and feature-packed. 
Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Lenko L85. The Lenko L85 is very much on my first turntable, a great starting point for you or your kids to get into vinyl at a knockdown price. At first glance, it looks like a toy, but on closer inspection, we have no complaints about the quality. Flashy colors and extra features are a bonus. There's a built-in phono stage so you can connect to any amplifier or powered speakers, while the USB output allows you to rip a digital copy of your records. Setup is dead easy and there are plastic buds to start recording or change the speed 33.3 and 45 from. But what of the sound quality? It's surprisingly good for the money. The equivalent of listening to MP3 or Spotify streams on your smartphone using PS50 headphones. There's more out there in sonic performance. You'll have to pay around P so 150. $200 slash $300 to get it. If you're thinking of getting into vinyl and want a budget turntable that combines user friendliness with a likable performance, this is a decent place to start. That's all for today. We upload music product review videos every single day. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the coming video notification.